<laughs> Alright, this next batch pretty much came from two days purchases at Amoeba. Pretty much all in the hip hop section. I lucked out again and got a uh, one of those days where there was a ton of uh, stuff that really didn't belong in the 50 cent bin. So got lucky with that and uh, here's what I picked up at Amoeba. Also got a Groupon that I used there too so it's kind of maybe why I bought so many. Joe Sinister Under the Sun. UTFO. This is a German kind of break record. Noisy Stylus. Broccoli Wars. These are all 50 cents. Uh, the Mistress and DJ Madam E, produced by the Unknown DJ and uh, Arabian Prince on Techno Cut, 12 inch. Red Man and Method Man, How High, 50 cents. Red Man, Blow Your Mind. I think a lot of these things that they put in the, the clearance bin for 50 cents used to belong to DJs because they usually have DJ mods on them, which means they got used and they're still in perfectly playable condition. They're just not, you know, flawless, which is why they don't. They don't price them at normal, normal range. DJ Cool Live, 20 minute workout. Black Moon, how many MCs? Uh, the Black Moon on and everything on Rec Records is uh, kind of the highlight of this group. There is a big group of them, a bunch of test pressings too, which you'll see when they come up, such as this Black Moon. Test pressing. Fortunately, I don't know which single this is. Just looking at it because it's not written, but test pressing of that. Stevano UGO. Um, Earthquake and African MC. I guess this is affiliated with Wu Tang because it said so on the label Wu Tang Management. Don't know much about this group, but uh, it's on colored vinyl, so I picked up a few of these. Turns out they're worth fair amount. Jungle Brothers, Beyond This World. New York, New York by Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. Public Enemy, Black Steel and the Hour of Chaos. Uh, Boogie Down Productions, Poetry on B-Boy Records. Uh, Criminal Minded is actually one of the albums that I never really was able to get into. Um, there's a couple songs like this one, Poetry, which are really, really good. But the whole, I mean, I know it was innovative and everything, but the, the whole album sounds really dated, especially because of some of the beats. But um, yeah, that's just my two cents on that. Black Moon, another test pressing. Welcome Down remix. You Rock Posse in Effect. This is a really good one. It's worth a good amount. Some just obscure uh, New York late 80s hip hop artist compilation. MC Chiba B. Mr. Complex on Core Records. Trigga on Protect Your Neck Records, Wu Tang affiliate. Pretty much anything from like 95 or 94 I'll get because it's. It's going to be good. Def Jeff, test pressing. Jungle Brothers, what are you waiting for? So Dot X, the lump lump. Eric B and Rakim, what's on your mind? Promo. Test pressing of the Boogie Monsters. On Pendulum. JJ Fad, Supersonic. Prime Minister Pete, nice, and Daddy Rich. Third base related. Goody Mob Cell Therapy. Uh, this is a rare one. Still got to do more more research on it, but I know it's rare. Riggs Dog. Why Should I EP, I guess. Seems to be like Latin rap. Very small pressing. Mr. Six, Country Boy City Man. This is actually not hip hop, it's a private pressing soul record that was in the hip hop section for some reason in a 
different sleeve. It should have a picture cover, but pretty rare in itself, so that was good. Buddha and the Bandit on Tough City. Blunt Recordings compilation. Another test pressing. Black Moon. It's another one of these uh, marbled Wu Tang. Black Moon again. Another promo. Shadow Cast, The Abyss. Black Moon again. Uh, NI double E, or no, NI double KI Nikki, I guess. Produced by Cutmaster Kurt. Don't know much about that, but got it for him. Rough House Survivors. Prince Rahim. Parental Advisory. MC Luscious on Heat Wave Records. The Prophets on Profile. Uh, Bulldog Breaks Volume 3. Two copies of Jay Z's In My Lifetime Volume 1. The LP. Jungle Brothers, Done by the Forces of Nature, $1. Christmas on Death Row. I thought that was pretty funny. And uh, Bobby Jimmy and the Critters. Here's a good one Shingo 2. 400 his LP 3 LP set this is a Japan only release it's kind of been on my want list since I first discovered him after his work with New Jabez but found it at Amoeba for 12 bucks surprising to me so had to pick that up haven't really previewed it yet but doesn't really matter I know it's going to be pretty good chromosome project 10 bucks Adagio, more random rap from the new arrivals section, 15 for that one, and Spoonie T and DJ Muff, another group I couldn't find anything on online, probably pretty obscure, 8 bucks for that. I guess I'll split this video into two again. It's getting a little long here. Um, this is, is the next day. I went back to Amoeba again to return a 12 inch I didn't really like and um, use my group on that day actually. So I was able to pull up plenty of stuff from the clearance bins again that I had somehow missed the previous day. But here's a couple seven inches Amnesty reissue on now again. Or no, sorry, Lamp Records. Cliff Nobles and Co. Company. On Phil L.A. of Seoul. Life After Death. Date with Death. Uh, Dougie Fresh and the Get Fresh Crew. All the Way to Heaven. Shazzy, Gettosburg Address. West Coast Rap All Stars, produced by Dr. Dre. Yeah, and these are all 50 cents. Marauder and the Fury, Get Loose Mother Goose. Masterminds, one of their 12 inches. And this one, I have no idea who it is. This is a kind of a wild guess because I wasn't even able to even look it up when I was in the store. It's like Exorcist and then. I have no idea what that second word says. It says like myop or something. So I kind of took a chance on this one because it's uh, from 2000. But I previewed it and it's actually really good. But there's again zero information anywhere on the internet on this. So probably have to dig harder later to figure stuff out. Miss Mr. Bello. <laughs> Daddy on the run. This is a German... 12 inch, it's actually pretty lame. Gregory D and DJ Manny Fresh, when he was in his electro days and not in his pop rap phase. Remedy, another Wu Tang affiliate. 
This one's from 97, I believe, or something like that. Mr. Greenweeds. And his shades of blue. Various artists flipping the script. This is a spoken word compilation, I guess. Kind of people doing poetry, but more in hip-hop style. I guess slam poetry, you could call it. That's good. Joski Love. Found out I already had the single. This is the promo version. Daily Planet. One of the pretty dope groups on All Natural Inc., the label. Sauce Money, produced by DJ Premier, Against the Grain. Pump Your Fist, hip hop inspired by the Black Panthers. Diamond D, remixes on here, KRS One, and uh, Rock Him on this side. Macola Records, Bobby Jimmy and the Critters, Snake. Top Quality, Magnum Opus. Another Black Moon on Rec. 12 inch I missed the previous day, I guess. This is Shango featuring the Funk Queen near the one on 4th and Broadway. Another copy of this Stevano UGO uh, colored vinyl. When I saw it was worth like, it was selling for 18 on Discogs, I thought I might as well. Pick up all the copies in the 50 cent bin. Nucleus. Some really tight electro from early 80s on Sunnyview. Chili T on MCA. Gangstar, you know my stees. Slammin' Records. Uh, Cracker Beats, volume 4. Dollar for that. And LA Carnival. This is one of the re-releases on Now Again Records. Just one of those things that you're never gonna come across in its original form, so gotta get the reissue. Uh, they put out all this material from this band, LA Carnival. It's pretty good. 12 bucks for that. And that was that, except today I received an auction that I was waiting for, and it's probably a good closer for this video. This is the Natural Elements, first EP, sealed copy of this. Um, another eBay steal, kind of had to drop a good amount of money on it. Although, I think it sold for more, I got it for around 70. But it's just one of those 12 inches that is rarely offered for sale. I think probably only a few times in the last five years, according to Pop Psych, so had to kind of splurge a little bit and get this, but with uh, six different tracks, all produced by Charlemagne and all with that, you know, that hard natural elements sound from 94, it is definitely worth the money. Uh, one thing that kind of deters me from 12 inches, spending a lot on 12 inches, is if there's just like one song plus the instrumental. Kind of makes me want to buy it less, but stuff like this where you get six unique tracks. Um, it's definitely worth the money to me. So, Natural Elements EP, um, one of the good steals this month. And that's that to close out the stuff I picked up in the month of September. Um, see you guys next month. Stay tuned for more sample library stuff and uh, whatever else I'm inspired to make. All right, thanks for watching. Peace.